Jason Adams in the role of Chick with Everett Sloan as Sanders. All right, folks. Suppose you hang around for a while. And when the show's over, I'll have Hubert cut you down. <laughs> now, let's get to our story. The thin, pale-faced young man sits before the battered, upright piano. For a moment, he just sits there, his eyes staring vacantly, his hands squeezed together in a tight clasp. The hands unfold, and then slowly, unsteadily, the nervous fingers reach for the keyboard. Victim for a perfect murder. 
There's nothing you can do to prevent it. Oh, you'll see what I can do. You can't run away from me. I'll find you wherever you go. I'll go to the cops. I'll tell them about you. They'll take care of you. That's what cops are for. They'll take care of you. Go to the police. Go ahead, chick. You go to the police. They'll think you're crazy. I wanted to, but 
but I couldn't. Then he looked up at me. You... You can't do it, can you, Jake? It's just as I told you. You're the murderer, And I'm the murderer. You're the one who's going to die. Oh, no. 
You can't keep running away. I can't go to the police. Don't you see? It's too late for that. I tried to kill Sandy. They'll grab me for that right off. It's got to be this way. We'll hide up in the woods. I know a little place, a hotel. He won't find me there.
reclining on the bed, right on the bed where he was sitting. You! I told you, Sanders, you couldn't get away from no. me. No, you come near me, please. You're going to die, and no one will ever find out who did it. A perfect murder. No, no, don't I... Uh, a perfect uh, planned murder, Sanders. My hands closed around his throat tighter, tighter, tighter. And then the light dropped out of him. I let him fall back on the bed. And when I looked at him, something funny happened. He, he wasn't there. I, I felt dizzy. I, I rubbed my eyes. I, I, I looked again. Then something came from behind me. An arm swung around my neck. All right, you. Don't move. I tried to get out of the grip. The arm tightened. I said, don't try to... Don't... Oh. Something hard and heavy pounded on my head and slammed up against my brain. And then I faded. When I came out of it, I heard a voice that grabbed me. I was keeping a watch on the house like you told me, Inspector. I saw this character sneak in through a side window. He was choking the devil out of that pillar there on the bed. And like I told you on the phone, he was talking to himself a mile a minute. That crazy kind of talk. Well, Robinson, he's our man, all right. Uh, sure, Inspector, but... What bothers me is if he did knock Eric Sanders off three days ago, why not do city come back here again? Oh, you got me. But it's a good thing for us he did. We were up a blind alley in this case. From the way things look, Sanders' death was a perfect murder. Before the trial started, they sent a doctor in to see me. One of those mind specialists. He spent hours with me. He told me why I bothered to go back again to Sanders' house. The first time you went to Sanders' house, Chick, you actually murdered him with your gun. But in your mind, you couldn't kill him. In your mind, he was still alive. But, Doc, I saw him. He talked to me. I heard his voice. Those were hallucinations, Chick. Yeah? What? What about the telephone call Rita made? I talked to him right after she did. Rita Corday was calling in a doctor to look at you. She thought you were mentally sick. When you heard the doctor's voice on the phone, you believed it was Sanders because you wanted to believe that. Rhea, she was trying to help me. Like she said. Yes. And after you killed her, you felt you could kill Sanders. That's why you went back to his house. To fulfill the murder in your mind. That's all there is to it, Chick. That's all there is to it. That's what the doc said. But there's more. The court said I was non compass something. It means that you're crazy. That put me away in this place. Here I got nothing to do but think. I asked for a piano. And they brought this one in this morning. The doc said it was hallucinations. But I saw him. I really saw him. And I heard his voice. The doc said it couldn't have been Sanders, but I tell you, I saw him. I saw him with my own eyes. The doc said Sanders was already dead, all right. And if it wasn't Sanders, I saw him. Who was it? Who was it? I'm trying not to think. That's why I'm playing now. Maybe if I play long enough, I'll forget about what I'm thinking.